Hey guys, it's me, Sue Joy, over here. Uh, I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about how to withdraw money from a Vietnam ATM machine safely. Okay, so uh, consider this as a how-to guide. And, you know, this is from my personal experience of living here in Vietnam for five years. Um, you know, I've used a um, couple of uh, ATM machines here in Vietnam. Um, uh, which I consider to be extremely reliable and you know um, for this how-to guide um, I'm not going to take you to an ATM machine because I don't feel comfortable recording me taking out money from the ATM machine uh, because you know I may be monitored um, okay so uh, I'm just going to give you a how-to guide and you know so like if you're coming first to Vietnam <clears throat> And, you know, you are already in Ho Chi Minh City or you're in Hanoi, um, you know, and you want to you want to take out and you have a international uh, debit card, um, uh, you know, or you have, uh, you know, a visa or a master card. Um, OK, uh, irrespective of where you're coming from. So if you're coming from U.S., you're coming from Europe, you're coming from India. So this is kind of going to be this is going to be a very generic video. Uh, firstly, I just want to let you know is that. Um, compared to Thailand where they averagely charge six dollars for withdrawal fees um, you know if you're having an international um, a debit card uh, here in Vietnam um, they don't charge um, no more than two two to three dollars um, you know which is quite um, you know which is quite reasonable but I heard that in Thailand if you use the uh, the aeon aeon ATM, I don't know if they charge uh, 150 Thai baht, so I've never used that. I'll use that next time when I go back to Bangkok. So <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to be just sticking around with how to withdraw money from a Vietnam ATM machine safely and how to make sure that uh, your card is intact with you and that, you know, the, the and that you have properly taken out the card and that, you know, you're not in a hurry and you, and, you know, you feel like, okay, I, I don't see my card, okay? It's happened to me a couple of times, so this is from my personal experience. Okay, so consider me as a, consider me as a first timer here in Vietnam, and you know I want to take out some money from an ATM machine. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to be using a fake um, fake uh, debit card. Um, it's actually I'm going to use my Thailand Starbucks Starbucks card. Okay, so I'm going to pretend that's going to be my that's going to be my uh, debit card, okay, international debit card, okay. So what I do is, this is from my personal experience, okay. So uh, I'm a foreigner, um, you know, and I'm also keep going to uh, keep a list of certain uh, banks, which I highly recommend that you use when you're taking on money because, um, you know, not all ATM machines recognize um, you know, uh, recognize international debit cards from all countries, even especially if you're from India, there are certain banks which do recognize. So, um, and that may be applicable for other countries. So I'm going to keep a list down below. Okay, so um, I'm walking right up. You know, I'm not trying to flash around my iPhone or not taking out my wallet and flashing around my money. So I go very simple. Um, I see a, say for example, I see a, I see a Sacom Bank ATM, okay, so uh, uh, one of my recommended ATM banks, okay, so I go to Sacom Bank, um, so I see a, I, I look at, you know, I try to find a good ATM machine, okay, which is not very old, which is not very crappy, okay, so I like to look for a decent ATM machine, which looks to be a bit modern, uh, so, so I just wait for my turn. I go to my ATM machine, I'm wearing my mask. So what I do now is I'll take down my mask, okay? <clears throat> Just for secu security reasons, because they have a camera up in the ATM machine. So they would like to know who you are, who's the person, are you the authorized card holder, okay? So for safety's sake, I always carry a man bag with me, okay? This way it prevents um, my wallet getting pickpocket if I keep it on the side of my uh, jeans pants. So I keep it always in my man bag. 
buy, you know, you can buy this from Bentan Market, you know, I believe this is for 150,000 or something, but you got to bargain over there real hard, okay? So, I'm going to unzip my man bag, I'm going to take out my wallet, okay? So for this demo purpose, I'm using my Starbucks um, Starbucks card, okay? Uh, consider this like an international ATM card, okay? Remember that your international debit card usually has a chip, okay? So make sure that you're putting the card correctly and that the chip is being inserted first inside the machine, okay? So I put that inside the uh, Vietnam ATM machine, the Sacom Bank ATM machine. Uh, then I believe you will have an option to select the language, okay? So you'll have, um, so make sure it'll be written lang uh, language English, choose language, select uh, English, okay? Um, and then you need to put in your uh, four digit pin, um, you know? And then you need to, um, then you need to uh, select how much money you, you're gonna withdraw, okay? So from my personal experience, um, Certain banks uh, do allow a, a withdrawal limit per transaction for 3 million Vietnam Dong. Uh, I'm going to leave the U.S. conversion down in the description below. Uh, certain other banks may charge like 2 million, uh, may, 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 um, you know, may uh, mention 2 million withdrawal per transaction. But I like to stick with the 3 million uh, to, be at, to, to be on the safe end. So per transaction... Uh, you can do uh, you can do a number of transactions and but you can only withdraw three million per transaction. Okay, um, so um, so say for example, I want to take out I want to take out one million Vietnam dong. Okay, um, so I click on one million. So you'll have options from five hundred, one million, up to three million. Okay, uh, you cannot exceed more than that. I mean, at least for my card. Okay, so. So say I'm going to take a 1 million Vietnam dong. <clears throat> then I get a notification on the ATM machine saying that you will be charged um, like uh, 30,000 Vietnam dong. Okay. So like I said, certain banks, they charge like two to three dollars. If I'm going to take out money from Techcom Bank, uh, which is one of the reputed banks, I believe they charge like 66,000 Vietnam dong. So it all depends, okay? So um, so say, uh, you know, I'm gonna take out money from Sacom Bank ATM, I select that, and I I accept, okay? I accept the uh, withdrawal charges, okay? Um, if you're using Charles Schwab or Betterment, I believe you're gonna get reimbursed, um, but not all international ATM cards from different countries do that. You know, that's a sad reality anyways. But, um, so what happens is that uh, you accept the charges and now you just got to wait um, for, for, for a few seconds and then you will start hearing the money rolling, okay, inside the machine, um, you know, the flap opens, um, you take out your money and, you know, so you take out your money. I would not recommend you count the money there, okay, you take out the money, you keep it there because most of the withdrawal most of, from my personal experience, um, whatever, whatever amount you withdraw from the Vietnam ATM, they give you that, okay? They don't play any scam games, uh, unlike in Cambodia where, you know, there are a bit of scams with the ATM machines over there, and especially with the $100 bills. Put the money inside the wallet, okay? Then uh, I would not recommend print out the receipt, okay? Because most of the ATM machines, they don't give you the printout of the receipt, okay? select no that that transaction you can go back home or check on your smartphone uh, when you log on to your net banking and you can see the transactional withdrawal fees and withdrawal charges okay you can do it from there that's your receipt but you know I would not recommend take out the receipt okay so take out the card the card will first come out okay <clears throat> now what I do is I take my card make sure you take out the card okay you take out the card keep it inside your wallet okay so say I got the wallet, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is, my hack, okay, from my personal experience, is how you can really remember that you can put the card inside the wallet, is you flip it two, three times, okay, slowly, okay, just like a normal motion. Make sure that you're visually 
confirming that the card is inside the wallet, okay? You're visually confirming, okay? Take the wallet. Uh, okay, so now you're done that process, okay? Put it inside. Okay, sorry. I got my man bag. Okay, so take the wallet. Put it inside the secure compartment of your man bag. Lock it. Uh, wear your mask. I'll walk away like a simple person, okay? Don't flash your phone or don't take out your wallet and just show around, you know, this is the amount of money I've taken out because there are a lot of people outside the road. You know, there could be certain uh, people, they can tag you. Like I said, pickpocketing is also there a lot in Vietnam, so be very careful. And especially if you're in Cambodia, don't do this, you know, flash around your iPhone and, you know, so just walk away, walk away normally, okay? and just move on and you know go to your coffee shop have a coffee or just go around okay just a quick one over here is um certain atm machines you know they have the uh, they have the finger cover okay when you're putting in the atm when you're punching your uh, atm pin sometimes you may have you sometimes you may see that certain atm machines they don't have the finger cover casing okay so what i do is I take my left hand, I just cover the top of my fingers, okay? So as I'm punching the pin, it's like I'm using like a mouse trackpad, okay? So I see, and I can see from here what number I'm punching, okay? Uh, because that's from my personal experience, it's a hack which I use, so make sure you can, you should cover your, you know, you, know, you should cover your right fingers with your left hand and just the top of the fingers and make sure you put in the pin so that nobody can see from outside uh, what your pin number is because if they take your card uh, they can use the exact pin that you can just wear a mask and take out the money okay uh, I'm not a professional uh, this is from my personal experience of staying out here in five years it has made me become very vigilant and you know I know like you know I know about how to be careful especially if you're traveling around Southeast Asia uh, like in Cambodia and Thailand. Okay, so that is how you take out money from a Vietnam ATM machine safely. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link down below of all the um, of all the reliable banks which I personally recommend, irrespective of where you're coming from, especially if you're coming from India. Um, yes, there are certain banks. Uh, there is this specific bank called as TP Bank, which is very uh, modern and uh, it's very uh, you know it's very it's like state of the art they have state of the art atm machines once you walk inside the mini in the glass room it's like you know you can it's uh you know it's uh, it's definitely um i've tried tp bank a couple of times um uh, i believe um i believe uh, they don't charge any transaction fees i'm not sure if they still do or not but um, TP Bank is something which is really reliable uh, and of course um, also uh, one of my favorite banks which I also highly recommend um, you know ACB um, and of course uh, you know because the ACB also charges like uh, you know two dollar two dollar I mean thirty dollars Vietnam dong uh, per withdrawal transaction I don't know if it charges 50 but ACB and of course there are all these new ones popping up of course Vietcom Bank it's a good bank so you can check out Vietcom Bank you know because Vietcom Bank has got big big office buildings and a lot of ATM machines and uh, you know so you can check out Vietcom Bank um, so um, the quick one over here is you know when you're waiting for your turn at the ATM machine you know don't you know don't keep your wallet open or don't hold your wallet in your hand so once you approach the ATM machine then you unzip your man bag, take out your wallet, put the card inside, okay? Uh, don't just keep it, don't keep your uh, wallet like this. Or, you know, don't open your wallet and show to other people how much money you got. Or, you know, don't do the mistake of, you know, when you're walking the public streets or in the parks and all that, taking out your wallet, counting how much money you have and all that. Or when you're paying some money or your bills, like tente, uh, when you're going to a coffee shop or... Uh, to a bbq restaurant or whatever don't take out your wallet and just take out all the money and start counting how much you want to pay you know because it may it may sound it may look cool okay you may try to act cool but there could be people who can tag you okay so be very very careful 
Um, you know, so just, um, you know, I hope this was useful. If you like watching this video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. Uh, if you're interested to start a successful online business in Vietnam and also in Southeast Asia, uh, I'm going to keep a link down below for an exclusive webinar web workshop in white. And also I've published a free guide uh, which you can download, uh, which will help you to start, um, you know, making passive income out here in Southeast Asia. So with that being said, you guys have a great uh, day. Uh, this was me, Sue Joy. Peace out.